Um, you know, I went to art school at Emily Carr. I trained as a, uh, in lithography and in printmaking. Um, I, you know, being an artist and learning these kind of skills, they, they help you to be in situations, you know. Our grandmother, uh, my mom's mom, uh, passed away uh, in 1997, and our mom, wanted to have a potlatch for her. Uh, it's important to also know that, you know, uh, in BC, there was a, a thing called potlatch ban, which was a, a part of the uh, legislation, an addendum to the Indian Act, which made uh, this um, uh, uh, community event, uh, which we call potlatch, uh, illegal. And there's a lot of, um, there are actual evidence of, you know, records of Indian agents uh, finding out about these potlatches and arresting people and putting them in jail, right? Our, our community is not uh, outside of that history and that experience. Um, elders above my mom's age would talk about the last potlatch that happened in our community, right? It's a real thing, you know? And it was my Auntie Helen, great, uh, you know, my mom's um, auntie, my grandma's sister, working with her son and their family. And her son was called um, Johnny Frank. Uh, they worked to, to start this revival. Uh, uh, revival's a weird word too, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, to return this practice. Return is a weird word. Um, reconstitute, that's a weird word, you know. Um, reclaim, that's a, that's a good word. Reclaim is a good word. It's also a bit of a weird word. A weird yeah. word. <laughs> and I like to think of our mom's offering as uh, building on that, um, the strength of that. Uh, after Auntie Helen's potlatch, and you know. Um, so, that's a real thing, and you know, part of this potlatch is it's the end of grieving, you know. So you do the ceremony, and you know, that's it. You can't cry anymore. It's beautiful, actually, you know, to put a mark there, like you've done everything you can to honor this person. You know, you've done a good job. And so, you know, and our grandmother was so important to me as well. Um, so I wanted to help out as much as I could. And I'm an artist. So I did this uh, um, lithographic quilt, you know. And our grandma, Dinah, she had a best friend named Grandma Violet. And so I wanted to make this uh, quilt for Grandma Violet. Right? And on the back of the quilt was Grandma, her oldest son, the image, right? Grandma, her oldest son, John, and John's, one of John's, Uncle John's kids, right? Because our grandma loved kids. She had a lot of kids, you know? She loved kids, and Grandpa John loved kids too. Uh, 11 boys and four girls. And um, I said to mom, like I, so I, you know, helped her. I drove with her to different elders, like different elders from Wolf Clan, different elders from Crow Clan. We sat with them. We talked about what we wanted to do. We asked them questions. They told us what we needed to do. And she followed it as best as she could with her family members, right? Uh, lots of people showed up that day, you know. And I said to her, mom, we can't just give Aunt Grandma Violet this blanket. It's gotta, you gotta activate it. You gotta do this thing. You gotta wear it, right? You gotta dance in it, right? And she, of course, said yes. You know, she didn't question it. She didn't say no. Her, like, weird son who went to art school, like, asked her to do this thing. You know, she just fully embraced wearing this blanket. And so this is her wearing the blanket in the potlatch, right? 
And this piece is called A Memory of Crows Dancing for Their Mother, and in brackets it says Our Grandmother. Yeah. And the thing here is, is, you know, because I was helping out that day, I wasn't taking pictures. I was actually there, right? So I didn't have any documentation. And, you know, I'm an artist, you know, it feel like, feels like you need to take pictures, you know, kind of thing. It's weird to hoard images, you know, but that's what we do sometimes. So what you're seeing here is um, photographs of my cousin's documentation through and me taking photos of that, their video, right? And it's um, like at an angle. So that's why you have these lines here. It's taken through an older TV screen, like it's 20 years ago now, 1998, 30 years ago now, whatever, it's old, you know. <laughs> anyway, that's what this is. 